Tomlinson surface meter. Tomlinson surface meter is used for surface finish measurement. Whenever we are producing components by various methods of manufacturing process, it is not possible to produce perfectly smooth surface and some irregularities are formed. These irregularities causes some serious difficulties in using the components. So it is very important to correct the surfaces before use. The factors which are affecting surface roughness are first, workpiece material, second, vibrations, third, machining type, fourth, tool and fixtures. To measure the surface finish we use different methods. First, inspection by comparison. Surface texture is assessed by observation of the surface. Second, by direct instrument measurements. In direct instrument method we use different types of instruments such as 1. Stylus probe instruments. 2. Tomlinson surface meter. 3. Profilo meter. 4. Taylor Hobson Talisurf. In this video we will learn about stylus probe instrument and Tomlinson surface meter. If you are new to this channel, click on the subscribe button below and turn on all notification option to get all the updates from us. Working principle. When the stylus is moved over the surface which is to be measured, the irregularities in the surface texture are measured and it is used to assess the surface finish of the workpiece. Working of stylus probe instrument. The stylus type instruments consist of skid, stylus, amplifying device, and recording device. The skid is slowly moved over the surface by hand or by motor drive. The skid follows the irregularities of the surface and the stylus moves along with skid. When the stylus moves vertically up and down and the stylus movements are magnified, amplified and recorded to produce a trace, then it is analyzed by automatic device. Construction of Tomlinson surface meter. In this, the diamond stylus on the surface finish recorder is held by spring pressure against the surface of a lap cylinder. The lap cylinder is supported one side by probe and other side by rollers. The stylus is also attached to the body of the instrument by a leaf spring, and its height is adjustable to enable the diamond to be positioned, and the light spring steel arm is attached to the lap cylinder. The spring arm has a diamond scriber at the end, and it rests on the smoked glass. Working of Tomlinson surface meter. The sensing element is the stylus, which moves up and down, depending of the irregularities of the workpiece surface. The stylus is constrained to move only in the vertical direction because of a leaf spring and a coil spring. The tension in the coil spring causes a similar tension in the leaf spring. These two combined forces hold a cross roller in the position between the stylus and a pair of parallel fixed rollers. A shoe is attached to the body of the instrument to provide the required datum for the measurement of surface roughness. The workpiece is made to slide below the stylus with the help of screws, which moves the platform with the workpiece. The translator motion of the stylus causes rotation of the cross roller about the point A, which in turn is converted to a magnified motion of the diamond point. The diamond tip traces the profile of the workpiece on a smoked glass sheet. The glass sheet is transferred to an optical projector and magnified further. Typically, a magnification of the order 50 to 100 is easily achieved in this instrument. Anti-friction guideways are used to provide friction-free movement in a straight path. Hope you have understood the Tomlinson surface meter. If you like this video click on the like button. If you enjoyed learning from this video and want to learn from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.